you sing in a wholeness that can only be sung as you sing it. Heaven Letter Number 6015 May 14, 2017 There is a moment of no thought. No thought is where the heart of life discovers or uncovers itself, or, we could say, gets past itself. At this non-time, there is no existent time. There is no ego dancing around. You are at these non-times spot on, assuredly sans time. For general purposes, when you are above thought, or is it when you are beneath thought or out of thought, who can say, no one on earth can speak for you beyond a doubt to establish that you are solidly in infinity. I, however, do say this to you without a doubt. Beloveds, in infinity, there are no seat backs to lean against. When you are in infinity, you are nowhere else even when you may be without your cognizance of this in your daily life. When you are in infinity, you just are, which is another way to say that, singularly, you are beyond existence and where you exist as a disparate piece of life. There is no awareness of thought nor is there awareness of no thought. You are beyond thought. We might say you are the essence of no thought. You are on the underbelly of no thought even as there is no underside to it. You are, as it were, the overlord of thought, the overlord of thought not yet contained yet, well, maybe, undone or outdone or superseded or in a still lake, not yet surfaced, not yet viewed, nor yet capable of being viewed nor is viewing desired or even considered or imagined or can exist with self-consciousness of itself as anything at all. This non-thought could be described perhaps as a non-thought that doesn't require thinking about itself, not having to describe itself to any measure known or unknown. The knowing is deep in the knowing of itself without the convention of language. This is often beyond human configuration in the world. As soon as you might configure a non-thought to any extent, it has been disassembled. It has been undermined. There is no about it when it comes to pure thought, if, indeed, we can speak of pure thought at all. Pure thought is pure, or it is not, yet it is beyond, or whatever preposition you might use, beyond thought altogether. Pure thought is greater than thought which can be discerned. You are deep in the meaning rather than deep in thought. When you sing, you sing in a wholeness that can only be sung as you sing it. Therefore, you don't marshal it. Singing is beyond describing the contents of your heart. Describing has nothing to do with the actuality. This is just it, the actuality cannot be described without the actualities fading into oblivion. Yes, I describe you as the wonder of this which we can call non-thought, you the very one who is constantly pursued by thought even in sleep, even in dreams, even when you can't remember or outline or cover up or anything at all. I do not mean unconscious thought or superconscious or superconscious thought, nor do I mean simply thought not yet thought of. What I mean is more like being itself, the kernel of consciousness. The kernel of consciousness is like the seed that is housed deep in the acorn and is beyond vision, yet exists just like that. In this non-place, words can only fumble and disappear, ah, beyond language, beyond words, beyond any approximation of semblance. We speak of a state of consciousness, a state of knowingness. You are either in the state itself or you are outside its borders, although the very point is there are no borders for this state to be contained in. We are not talking about an unbordered state any more than a bordered state. This state cannot be pinpointed nor demarked or even unbordered. This state is beyond being analyzed into thought, for analyzing dissolves the thought. Some things cannot be made into a formula, for, at that point, you would have gotten outside what you wish to sort out and, so, lost it. You may say you can make no sense of what I am saying. By sense you mean logic. We are speaking of beyond logic and entering a land of instancy and wholeness, a land away from spitting distance from thought. Thought cannot be made to fit a mold when the truth is that there is no mold. Beloveds, wholeness cannot be designated as this wholeness or that wholeness. Wholeness is, or it is not. The whole story is that there is wholeness yet no description that can go along with wholeness. Description can only lag. You cannot wholly put description in your pipe and smoke it. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff
heavenletters.org.